Hey guys, this is Mr. A Quizzy here, and welcome back to another movie review. Today's movie review is going to be on the 2019 documentary film, Making Waves, The Art of Cinematic Sound. Making Waves, The Art of Cinematic Sound is a documentary movie from 2019, and, it, and it's about the history of sound design in, in Hollywood cinema. And the, story of, and the story of Making Waves goes like this. Examining how visionary directors work on sound designers to create the most exciting cinematic experiences. Also featuring the latest discoveries and, and advances in sound technology to learn how sounds transform the cinematic experience. And of course, we got ourselves a documentary film about, about the history of, of cinematic sound, of sound design. And let me just pull this up here on Wikipedia here to, to show you who stars in it. And of course, like the the the, inter the interviewees in this film star Gary Rydstrom, George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, Ben Bird, Ryan Coogler, Christopher Nolan, Hans Zimmer, Robert Redford, David Lynch, and yeah, etc. So, so I saw that this this movie is currently is currently on, streaming on YouTube for free with advertisements. I, and, and I actually watched it last month. And and I gotta say, I actually really love the making waves, the art of cinematic sound. It's and 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 what what and what when I shared my thoughts on it back in March last month, like like on March between March twenty third to the twenty fourth to the twenty fifth, I actually gotta say, making waves, the art of cinematic sound is actually one one of my one of my all time favorite documentary films of all time, because th there are there are many reasons why why this documentary film is one of my favorites of all time, one of my favorite documentaries of all time, because the the point is, guys. This this documentary film pretty much talks about like the art of uh, talks about like the history of, of sound design in cinema of the United States like how how sound effects are created, and and of course I I actually really really been really been loving loving sound design for like a long time I because I actually know how how sound effects worked and because I think ever since the same year when this documentary came out in 2019 I've been like very interested in sound design like you know and and, and of course I've been recognizing a lot of sound effects. And of course, most of the interviewees have a good point about, about about sound design, like Gary Rydstrom. Gary Rydstrom, one of my all time favorite sound designers. Gary Rydstrom, who worked on the sound for like Saving Private Ryan, Terminator Two, Jurassic Park, and Titanic, Toy Story, A Bug's Life, Toy Story Two, Monsters Inc. Especially, especially those four Pixar movies actually have a sound effects only version, where there's actually a sound effects version where you can only hear the sound effects and and no dialogue and no music. Yeah, because I think I think if you if you watch I think if you watch those movies with just the sound effects, you can definitely you can de you can definitely imagine what what would the what 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 the fully artists were using to to create that sound. Because and this movie, this documentary movie, Making Waves, also talks about how fully is made, like how like fully is actually the art the art where 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 fully artists say they 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 do they grab some like they 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 get some objects and 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 they recreate that sound and to make to make sure what what it, what it actually sounds like. And, and also, if, if you watch if you watch the movies carefully, and if you hear this, if you listen to the sounds carefully, you can probably you can probably imagine what would the what, what the fully artists were using to recreate that sound, like because if like for example, I think for 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 the for the sounds of the lights flashing, I, I bet I bet the I bet the fully artists probably use electric hair clippers. Like if you listen carefully, and and, and Gary Rystrom does have a point there, and and Ben Burt. Ben Bird, who worked on the sound design for the sound effects for Wally -E and Star Wars, it's like like I think I think Ben Bird's work on sound design is actually well done too. Like, like the way he creates the way he creates those beow, like those beow sounds from from Star Wars, like the Tie Fighter shooting sounds, like like and, and of course like you know the 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 shooting sounds from Star Wars. Beow, beow, beow. Yeah, even the Tie Fighter. Beow. Yeah. Because Ben Burt's sound design is it's like it's like very well done, just like Gary Rydstrom. And and of course, like at at the very end of the documentary for Making Waves, the art of cinematic sound, the, the it, it talks about like like how like how like how a movie is made, like how the editing is made for for both fully the sound design and the music, and, and then before the finished product. Because even. Even the fully the fully artists also they even the fully artists also use their feet of course to create to create walking sounds or running sounds like they use their they use their feet to, to recreate the running or or walking sounds like the footsteps because and that, that that's also how fully is made 
and and I think and I I also learned from this documentary that the the, the I think that the sound the sound for the sound effects for 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 the crowd screaming and running like ah 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 like you know because it's like it, it's pretty much how how they they actually they actually go out on a field they actually go out on like a like a field and and record people running running behind mics and and and, and also pr providing yelling and screaming sounds behind the mics too to, to create to create like yeah, like crowd scream sounds. Yeah, because and you you can definitely imagine like like you can you can definitely see that that Gary Rystrom's sound design in A Bug's Life and Monsters Inc. If you listen carefully at, at Monsters Inc., some of the, most of the crowd scream sounds were, were were previously used in A Bug's Life. It's kind of like how how the crowd scream sounds were previously used in A Bug's Life. I think it was used for the ant colony. I think it was probably used like when when Flick's bird attacks and then and during the rain sequence. The rain, the rain scene from a bug slide definitely had had definitely had the best sound effects in, in the movie because it's pretty much how, how it, it kind of sounds like a meteor shower a little bit, which is why which is why most times I'm, whenever whenever I'm playing on my computer, I it's like I, I it's like I, I put on the the rain scene from a bug slide and mix and mix it with the with the meteor shower scene from Disney's Dinosaur, because. Because because the because the, the rain sounds in a bug's life do sound similar to sounds similar to, to the sound of a meteor shower because 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 I, I bet the fully artists I bet they use like a, a giant airplane I bet they use a giant airplane for the sounds for the sound of the of the rain arriving and and I bet they use and I bet they use giant water balloons and, and, and like different sized water balloons for the for the thunder splashing sounds and and I bet and I. And I bet they, and I can definitely tell that the Foley artists also use fireworks to, to create the firework whistling sounds of the sounds of the raindrops falling. And of course, like the sounds in like in like Toy Story two, like the getting the arm scene with with, with Woody trying to get his arm back while Al's sleeping, like it, it's just, it's almost like a moment of silence with 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 like slurping and and and, and licking sounds. And there, and of course the stomach gurgle sound they used for Al, like this that that stomach gurgle was that was also reused in Monsters Inc. With, with, for Mike Wazowski as well, so that, so it's it's like the same stomach gurgle used for for both Mike and Al. Like I would have assumed they would have used it, they would have used it in more animated films or something like that. I, I would have assumed they would have used that sound on on female characters, that, like if like as as if the female characters were playing Al's role, like either Judy Hopps, Lola Bunny, or Portia Crystal. Like um you know Looney Tunes, Space Jam, um Zootopia, um Sing Two, but but I made I I made all that up guys because because I I just love this documentary so much I it's like it's like Making Waves the Art of Cinematic Sound is like and it's like one of my all time favorite documentaries because I love sound design for for like for like a long time and of course I've been recognizing a lot of sound effects so like I'm really I'm really good at knowing these sound effects. And 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 that's all the reasons why why this documentary making waves the art of cinematic sound is one of my all time favorite documentaries of all time. Yeah, because because everyone did a great job in this film, like being interviewed, like Ben Bird, Gary Rydstrom, George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, Ryan Coogler, Robert Redford, Christopher Nolan, um, Hans Zimmer, and, and Sofia Coppola. Almost almost forgot to mention her, and David Lynch. Yeah, cause cause everything about this documentary is very interesting and fun to watch. So overall, Making Waves: The Art of Cinematic Sound is is an awesome documentary, and I'm gonna give Making Waves five out of five stars. Definitely a ten out of ten as well. So if you haven't watched this documentary film yet, if you haven't seen it yet, then feel free to check this documentary out if you want. And like I said, it's cur it's currently on YouTube for free with advertisements now. So if you want to go on YouTube right here and check out the documentary, then feel free to check it out if you want. Because if you see what I'm talking, if you see what I'm talking about, and on if you see what I'm talking about, and why and why and why this, if you if well, like, feel free to go check this movie out on YouTube if you want. Like you'll see you'll see what I mean. You'll see why why this is my old, one of my all time favorite documentaries of all time from 2019. So, there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for my movie review on Making Waves, The Art of Cinematic Sound. And that's going to be it for this video. So, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And as always, thanks for watching. And until next time, this is Mr. A. Crizzy saying goodbye, everybody. And that's about it.